What's up, world? Happy Sunday fun day. You didn't think I forgot about you. We uh, are doing a later ride today because uh, last night when I went to sleep, uh, my four-year-old daughter decided she was going to climb in bed with me and uh, snuggled me all night. So when my alarm went off at 6 a.m., there was no way I was leaving her. So uh, she snuggled with me till about, I don't know, about 8.30 or so. And then the kids got up. And I spent the morning with the kids, um, spent the morning around the house, just kind of taking it easy. And now we're doing a ride. We're up in Rockville Center, uh, Riverside Drive over here. It's Riverside Park, I believe they call that. And we're up here doing our ride. So uh, on the way to Oceanside Park, it's about six and a half miles from the house. So today will be a 13, 14 mile ride. And... Um, want to get on here and give you the message of the day. So um, I got to listen to a lot of podcasts this morning and read a lot of Facebook posts from friends. And the common theme that seemed to come up today is um, God gives us gifts. And are we uh, using those gifts that God gave us? Or are we sitting on them? Are we sitting on our hands when we could be helping? Um, God put us here for a purpose. God put us here um, with a mission. And many of us take the gifts that God gave us and we don't exercise them. We don't uh, use them. We don't um, inspire others. We don't, uh, we don't use those gifts. We, we neglect those gifts that God gives us. Um, we talk about a lot that we're here for a purpose. We're here to uh, do good. Uh, we're here to help people. So if you have the gift of being able to help someone, and someone shows up in your life that needs help, you must help them. You must help them. Um, you know, it's kind of like uh, seeing someone stranded on the side of the road with a flat tire that doesn't know how to change it. Do you drive past or do you stop and help? Do you know how to change a tire and someone's stuck on the side of the road with a flat tire and obviously they don't know what they're doing? Do you stop and help? Because if you don't stop and help, you know there's a feeling in your gut that says, I should have stopped and helped. Um, and it's the same with everything in life. When people show up in your life and they need help, um, they're struggling. They need something. Um, do you stop what you're doing and help them? Or do you look the other way and pretend you don't see them? Do you pretend you don't hear them? Um, think about that. Think about situations in your life. Think about people that show up in your life. Think about stuff that shows up in your life and ask yourself, am I using what God gave me? Can I help this person? Can I help this situation? Can I make this better? Because, um, if you're not, you're wasting the gifts that God gave you. Uh, so it's something we got to talk about, about living intentionally. I mention it all the time. Do you go out of your way uh, to make the world a better place? Do you go out of your way to touch people, make them feel better, give them a smile, get a smile in return? Um, are you intentional? Uh, do you abuse your body that God gave you? Or do you exercise and take care of your body? Do you abuse your mind that God gave you? Or do you fill it with trash? Do you fill it with negativity? Do you, um, do you sacrifice the gifts that God gave you? Um, we must live intentional. We must go out of our way to help people. We must go out of our way to do good things. We must go out of our way uh, to inspire people. We must go out of our way to make the world a better place. Um, it's really something we all got to think about. Are you doing the best with what God gave you? Because if you're not, you need to do better. So there's your message of the day. Use God's gifts to the fullest. Um, don't neglect anything in your life. All right, so let's jump on prayers. We got a little pretty water back here. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to uh, acknowledge the gifts that you give us every day. Um, Help us to be aware and help us to be intentional. Help us to help those in our lives that need help. Help us to um, 
go beyond ourselves and realize that uh, we're here for a purpose. We're here to do big things and um, help us to have the courage and confidence and strength to, uh, to do what we need to do every day. Amen. All right. Sunday fun day. Over here in Rockwell Center. I'm going to try and get a haircut while I'm over here. And we're going to go over there to Oceanside Park. Uh, I was down there for baseball not too long ago, and it was a pretty place. So I figured let's try someplace new. It's a little bit longer ride than usual, but it's Sunday. we got some time to relax. Uh, probably going to go show some houses later on. And uh, I had a closing Friday. Uh, my good friend Guy Bonamo, uh, his family, his wife Marie, um, super, super excited that they got a house. Uh, we, uh, we struggled to get, uh, get this one bought and it all came together cause it was meant to be. So congratulations to Guy and Marie on their new home, uh, Friday, Franklin square. Happy for you guys. Couldn't have worked out any better. And, uh, we got some other stuff coming up in the works. Um, real estate market is still busy. Still got a lot of buyers looking to buy no inventory. Great time to sell. Um, a couple of buyers are really, really looking for something and uh, they can't find it. So if you're thinking of selling or you know anyone it is, have them reach out to me. We'll get their house sold quick and for top dollar. And if you're looking to buy, it's a struggle in this market, work with me and my team and we'll get you something. Um, we're here for you. And remember, when, we're, when you're working with us as a buyer, there's no cost to you. The seller pays our commission. So why not work with us as a buyer's agent? All right, everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, go out there. Use the gifts that God gave you and make the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Appreciate you all. God bless.